Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. Good, I got Greg, you played over a decade in the NBA. Is there an opening day that you remember most that sticks out in your mind? No doubt. The, the, the very first time I put on that Knicks jersey, you know, your rookie year, uh, the game was in Orlando. I got to play 28 minutes, which was a lot for a rookie back then, especially on a really good team. And uh, it was an awesome experience. That was a moment you had dreamt of your entire life if you grew up wanting to play basketball, man. And I was pumped. That's a great story. A look at San Diego's starting group. Center ends there with Malik Beasley. Then there's Tristan Thompson. Then it's Trey Lyons. And it's Waba in at the three slot. Now here's Crawford. Six to shoot. Back to ball. Waba with the rebound. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. No good from Beasley. Crawford right side. A 15-footer and a little luck that time, but it drops. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Now, here's Sadoransky. The shot by Thompson, no good. Outside, Jones. No good. So San Diego will take it the other way. Here's Sadoransky. Sweet little floater. Wow, they finally get it to go down on their fourth try. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Vancouver. Crawford outside. And the pass to Jones. Kicks it to Ball. Crawford outside. Here's Parker, fades away and sinks the tough shot. This is where Jabari does some of his best work, right in that in-between area. Passed in Waba. Here's Beasley. Now back to Mwaba. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And that's going to be a foul on Vancouver. San Diego shooting their first free throws of the game. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Crawford outside. Pass to Jones. Back to Crawford. And here's Jones. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. Passes it to Sadoransky. Here's Nwaba. Wiles kicks to Nwaba. Inside. Here's Sadoransky, and trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. A, a tall, strong combo guard who can shoot it as well as pass it. Sadoransky played around 30 minutes a game for the Bulls last season as he found a way to impress the team every chance they gave him. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Well, the scouting report for Sadoransky is this. If he could increase his consistency, Greg, shooting the ball, his game could reach another level. Yeah, I mean, throughout his career, the percentages have been all over the place. He's not really a volume three-point shooter. The key for Sadoransky is good shot selection and just playing under control. And that one's good. Parker. Uh, you call that running hard. Jabari Parker with the effort to get up the floor and get to his spot. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Now here's Sadoransky. The pass to Nwaba. 
Cameron Thompson kicks to Beasley. Over Crawford. Misses off the right iron. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Great look, but off the mark. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. Sadoransky, the pass to Beasley. Out to the right wing. Pass to Thompson. Over Harrell. San Diego with another miss. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Crawford outside. That shot off the mark. So San Diego will take it the other way. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Sadoransky the pass to Thompson. Fades back. San Diego with another miss. Well, this guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. Crawford kicks to Parker. Floats one, and it's good on the way up. Parker's got six. This guy just a terrific natural score. Jabari Parker getting a great time out, time out. look. And San Diego decides to take their first time out here. Well, you know, teams look for plus sixes. Players whose wingspans exceed their height by a half foot. Montrez Harrell is a 6'7 player with a 7'4 wingspan. If you're struggling with the math, ladies and gentlemen, that's a plus nine. Nwaba defended by Jones. Now back to Nwaba. Just five to shoot. Here's Sadoransky. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And between his length and his athleticism, Montrez Harrell well suited for that role of small ball center, Greg, in today's NBA. Yeah, I mean, he's fearless. He even giving up a few pounds, a few inches. He'll go right at you and making steady improvements as a rebounder year over year. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. For San Diego, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And the first one at the line is good. Greg, we have a league of many great playmakers, don't we? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Le LeBron James is obvious. You know, he played point guard technically for the first time last season, but he's always been a floor general. You, you look at a young man like John ja Morant, and he's been on the attack since day one when he hit the league. And there's so many more of those guys that are having an impact, understanding the value of that lead guard position. It is fun to watch. It is so fun to watch. I agree. Jones finds ball. Back to Jones. Harold to pass the ball. And already they've taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Pass to Nwaba. Now here's Lyons, covered by Parker. San Diego moving the ball around. On its way from Beasley for two. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Vancouver. Now here's Jones. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes to Harrell. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And the Ravens lead by four. 
<laughs> Guys, not much more a defender can do in that situation. Harrell with the focus and the strength to just power through the contact. Here's Nwaba. The pass to Sadoransky. And here's Beasley. From outside, off the mark. Crawford outside. Feeds it to Harrell. And yes, it's good. Now it's a six-point Raven lead. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Sadoransky kicks to Beasley. Pass to Nwaba. Now here's Sadoransky. San Diego needs to get off a shot. For three, Beasley. The shot, no good. And it's the Ravens taking it the other way. Here's Ball. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. Time out, time out. Ball's got his second basket of the night. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. And San Diego calls time here. And bringing a lot of excitement to the game. LaMelo is a crowd pleaser, a, a flashy playmaker with deep, deep range. Diego trails by eight. And part of the now famous ball family, LaMelo following Greg in the footsteps of his brother, Lonzo. And both have great height for the point guard position, elite vision. LaMelo's coming in as a better shooter. Lonzo came in as the better defender. But, but I think any team would be happy to have either one. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. It'll be Vancouver with their first timeout of the game here. For viewers, timeout's a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Vancouver leading by six. Outside, Jones. Pass to Crawford. Jones looking for an opening. Piles against Parker. Crawford outside. It's hauled in by San Diego. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Here's Vancouver with the ball. Outside, Jones. Crawford against Beasley. Crawford passes the ball. Harrell kicks to Crawford. There's the three. Outside, Jones. Passes it to Parker. Shoots over Lyle. And Parker with the basket on the assist from Jones. Parker's got eight. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. Back to Sadoransky. San Diego moving the ball around. A three ball. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. Parker's got five rebounds tonight. Crawford outside. The pass to Jones. 
Fifty two seconds left in the first quarter. Ball from long range. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Beasley, here we go. Count that bucket. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Vancouver leading by four. Crawford outside. Pass to Jones. Crawford against Beasley. Jones. And Jones slams it in. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Here's Sodoronski. Pass to Lyles. Over Parker. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And that's what Jabari Parker has to his advantage on defense. Use that length to challenge the shot. Nice. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's Vancouver up six. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one what do you guys think about the Ravens here in this one you got to credit their defense communicating rotating making plays on the ball yeah I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong and they have they've taken the early lead here Vancouver leading by six on the court for the surf Tristan Thompson is out there with Trey Lyles then it's Malik Beasley. Then there's Thomas Sadoransky. And it's Mwaba in at the small forward position. Now here's Beasley following the miss by LaMelo Ball. Jones against Beasley. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Vancouver. Outside, Jones. Let's the three fly, and Jamal Crawford hits from deep. Crawford's got the lead up to nine now for the Ravens. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Passes it to Beasley. Now back to Mwaba. Six on the shot clock. And there it is for him. Now this guy plays with such confidence and an ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Crawford outside. The pass to Jones. And again, it's Vancouver with a three. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Lyles with it. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Now here's Jones. Five points in the game. To the inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. If you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this here at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that, more than anything, allows for the true skill Take and artistry of the game to two be shots. on display. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to get switched onto MB down low. <laughs> or, that, that wouldn't, I would probably dislike that and let it be known vociferously. But, but, I, but I always pictured you as being fearless, like you would never turn down that kind of challenge. I wouldn't turn it down publicly. <laughs> <laughs> and so Jones nails both of them. San Diego trails by 10. Ashton Waba. Here's Beasley. Now back to Nwaba. Now Sadoransky. Six points for him. For three, Beasley. Vancouver pulls it in. 
Parker's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside, Jones. Pass to Crawford. Vancouver working the ball around now. Parker kicks the ball. To the paint. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Back to Sadoransky. Dishes it to Thompson. That one's off to a rough 0 for 6 start for him. And he gets it to go. Uh, Thompson, he has such a low, wide base. He is near impossible to fully box out. Sadoransky against Ball. Harrell the pass to Jones. He feeds it to Crawford. Got a hand on it, and he gets it back. Shock up two there. Crawford's got the lead up to 12 now for the Ravens. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Sadoransky up top, guarded by Crawford. A jump hook. The shot by Sadoransky, no good. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. And Doris Malik Beasley, no stranger to the entertainment business, his parents and his grandfather are all accomplished actors. Yes, but his father also played basketball professionally. Malik with so much talent. Now he's looking for his role to grow, and he's got the kind of heart and toughness to go make it happen. Miles, no good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. San Diego trails by 14. Here's Beasley. A shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Beasley's got four points this quarter. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Back to ball. Outside, Jones. He dishes it to Parker. Back to Jones. Off target with his three. Now, San Diego with it. Right wing. Here's Nwaba. Here's Wiles in the two oh, line line out. That's what he gives you. A big time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Vancouver leading by 10. Outside, Jones. Crawford outside. He kicks the ball. Jones for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. Jones has gone three for five from the field. And San Diego calls time here. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us, went back out on the floor. Doc nudges me and said he'll be great in TV. Center. We saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. And 
Thompson kicks to Nwaba. Pass to Beasley. Now here's Sadaransky. Six to shoot. Back to Beasley. The three. And Jones pulls it down. And it's Jones with the ball for Vancouver. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. It's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Why Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. DA, thank you. For San Diego, they have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. First one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. Now, here's Lyon. Following the miss by LaMelo Ball. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he makes the first. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Good on both. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Ball, the pass to Jones. Back to ball. Back to Jones. Vancouver needs to get off a shot here. Crawford outside. Waba with the rebound. San Diego trails by 11. To the middle. Thompson with the bucket. Yeah, Thompson just so focused. Even with the defense in his face, he still has the poise to be able to knock down shots. And there's the pass to Jones. And here is Parker. Back to Jones. Now, here's Ball. D right on him. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And Sadoransky kicks to Nwaba. San Diego moving the ball around. From past the arc, Vancouver pulls it in. Parker's got eight rebounds in this game. This guy just can't find his rhythm, and you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Now here's Beasley. He's got eight. Waba passes to Lyles. Out to Thompson. Beasley for three. Rebound by Parker. Parker's got nine rebounds now tonight. Outside, ball. Oh, the lob to Parker. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Beasley with a clean look. Nails the corner three. Beasley's got seven points for the quarter. You know, probably could have gone strong to the hoop, but with the D out of position on the break, I like his decision to take the three. Back to Crawford. 
Clock at six. Down low. It's blocked. Beasley with it. Now guarded by Harrell. Here's Nwaba. Back to Beasley. Out to the right wing. Sadaramski finds Beasley. Let's it go from deep. Vancouver pulls it in. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. To the paint, here's Harrell, and Harrell shoots it in. So many of Montrez Harrell's buckets come right at the cup. He is so powerful. Easily outside. Passed in Waba. Sadaramski with it. With the floater, tries again. And the shot is good. The Vancouver lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Nwaba. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Now here's Crawford. He's got 11. Jones, the pass to Parker, inside. And Crawford with the basket on the assist by Parker. Parker's got three assists in the game. San Diego trails by 11. Pass to Nwaba. Now Wiles, covered by Parker. Wiles kicks to Nwaba. Thompson outside. Launches it. Rebound by Harrell. Harrell's got six rebounds now in the game. Passes it to Ball. And it's Parker at the elbow. And it's yeah, well, he nails the buzzer, Peter! One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And we finished one half of basketball. Ravens lead by 13. And will return shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Looking at the Ravens. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, Kenny should appreciate this. I love the ball movement. They were in sync as a unit, and their assist numbers were impressive. Anytime you get five players working together like that instead of one guy doing it alone, there's always going to be a boost. That's the primary reason they're in control of the game. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? It looked like they were shooting threes blindfolded. Sometimes you could get cold, but that it was atrocious. It was scary. But they also looked scattered out there, and I think that disorganization was the main issue for them missing those shots. They need to establish themselves better into a better rhythm in the second half and avoid relying so heavily on the three-point shot. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. with the big gap on the scoreboard the second half begins with very different goals for these teams one side trying to mount a comeback one side trying to protect their lead Jamal Crawford really making a difference here he had a fast pass to the lane that first half and got inside on demand now this guy is such a good finisher on the move and so far the defense has not been able to counter it well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Derek Jones is out there with Jabari Parker. Then it's Ball, then it's Crawford, and it's Harrell in at the center, filling out the middle. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. And for San Diego, we've got Malik Beasley. Tristan Thompson is out there with Lyons. Then there's Thomas Sadaransky. And it's Nwaba in at the three, the small forward. Thompson. That shot misses. So Vancouver will take it the other way. To the inside. And Harrell slams it in. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But man, he plays as big as any of them. Thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Now here's Sadaransky. And that one is good by Beasley. And it's 13 points for Beasley. 
And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Oh, the lob to Parker, and he lays in the alley-oop. Some guys just know how to score. Jabari Parker can beat you with power. He can also beat you with finesse. Easily outside. There's the pass to Nwaba. Pass to Sadoransky. Releases. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Miles got 12. Vancouver leading by 15. Outside, Jones. Pass to Crawford. To the middle. Shoots it. Here's Ball. That shot, no good. So San Diego will take it the other way. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting two. The first one falls. And so he hits both. Timeout. Now a timeout called by the Ravens. under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Outside, Jones. Back to ball. Outside, Jones. But they'll get another chance. And again, it's Vancouver missing. San Diego trails by 13. And here is Sadoransky. Six points for him. Waba passes to Lyles. Shoots over ball. Shots good by Lyles. Lyles got 14 points. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Now, here's ball. In the corner, it's Crawford. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Parker. They get it back. Harold. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. His shooting has been outstanding here. Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And San Diego calls time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Beasley outside. 
Passes it to Nwaba. The dish to Thompson. Out to the wing. Here's Sadoransky. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got his sixth rebound on the night. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. Service ball. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. San Diego trails by 13. Beasley outside. Out to Thompson. Now the pass to Beasley. Shot clock at six. And it's Beasley finishing it off. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness. The D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Now here's Jones. 13 points in the game. Ball to pass to Harold. Off the mark from 16 feet out. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for San Diego. 11-point game. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And here's what the schedule for Vancouver is looking like. On Monday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And then on Friday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Two. That's good from Beasley. Both free throws, good for Beasley. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Outside, Jones. Pass to Crawford. Ball kicks to Jones. Waba with the rebound. San Diego trails by nine. Pass to Sadoransky. Here's Thompson. Pulls up from the corner. And that one goes long. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. And the dunk by Parker. Exactly what we thought Jabari Parker would be, right? This guy can flat out score it. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's got six. Stolen by Ball. Oh, and here we go. Crawford all alone. Ooh, that's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Now, here's Lyons. 14 points for him. Six to shoot. Waba passes to Thompson. Here's Lyles. Vancouver pulls it in. Ball's got seven rebounds in the game. Excellent deed there from Beasley. San Diego trails by 13. Passes to Sadoransky. San Diego moving the ball around. They grab their own miss. And Thompson gets it to go. Yeah, there are several ways that Thompson can be a factor on the offensive end. And he is still adding to that arsenal. And you can't help but see the impact Thompson has in the paint. On both ends of the floor, he's a rock planted near the rim. Very strong legs that help him get to so many of those rebounds. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Back to ball. Floats it up there for Harrell. An emphatic L.U. jam. Throw it up and let Montrez Harrell finish. And with Thompson, as you said, Greg, once he's planted in the paint, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I mean, think about it. About 40% of his rebounds are on the offensive end. He just refuses to get moved or boxed out. Combine that with his hunger on that end of the floor, and you see why he's such a great rebounder. 
and this is his third trip to the line tonight. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. He makes one of two that time. Vancouver leading by 10. Here's Ball. Sinks that one from the post. Ball's got six points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. We know that for years the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament to get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. Here's Sadoransky after the basket by Montrez Harrell. Pocket six. Here's Lyles. Almost, but it rolls out. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And the pass to Sadoransky. Beasley kicks to Sadoransky. Lyles passes to Beasley. From deep three-point range, San Diego now working with a new shot clock. That one goes in. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Crawford outside. Pass to Jones. Outside ball. Parker with it. Beasley with the steal. And now San Diego on the break. Here's Sadoransky. That one no good. Excellent D there from Ball. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Thompson comes with the double team. From deep. Crawford, no luck. Beasley kicks to Sederansky. Back to Beasley. Pass to Thompson. Here's Nwaba. And here is Lyles. Defended by Jones. Lyles no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Vancouver shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Shooting for your Ravens. Jamal Crawford. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. He doesn't get the second one. San Diego trails by 13. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Passes it to Lyons. Back to Sadoransky. To the paint. Shoots from the elbow. They get it back. Thompson makes it off the glass. Thompson's got six in the quarter. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Crawford finds Harrell. Here's Parker, covered by Lyons. Releases from 15. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Here's Sadoransky. Misses there. 
And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's Vancouver up 11. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Dan, he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Jones, Parker out there with Montrez Harrell. And it's Crawford, and it's Ball in at the point guard. That one falls. They are just killing them on the interior. Outside, Jones. The pass to Crawford. Outside, Ball. Crawford looking over the floor. And so it looks like the Raven to retain possession here. Four on the clock. And Zosedaransky will bring it up for the surf. They trail by nine points. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Here's Crawford inside. Here's Parker. Kicks it out to Crawford. And Harold slams it in. If you do not box out Montrez Harold, you are opening yourself up to offensive rebounds. This guy is a force there. Now here's Beasley. San Diego moving the ball around. Here's Nwaba. Four on the shot clock. From downtown, nailed from three-point land. Well, they've decided to give Tristan Thompson a little bit more opportunity to handle the ball, and what a pretty delivery there. Pass to Jones. Thompson comes with the double team. Jones dishes to Parker. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got assist number seven for him tonight. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now, here's Lyons. Fires the three. Ball with the rebound. It's hauled in by San Diego. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Now back to Nwaba. Pass to Sadoransky. Shoots the three. San Diego now working with a new shot clock. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Crawford, no luck. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Lyles kicks to Sederansk. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And he lays it straight in. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Crawford outside. Parker outside. Down low. That's good from Crawford on the assist by Parker. Parker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And the rejection by Harold. It, but the effort's been there for him, just not getting the results. Ball shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Shooting for your Ravens. The mellow ball at the line for two.
first free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's the Zerp with it. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Beasley, the pass to Lyles. Now here's Beasley. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Beasley's got 12 points here in the second half. Vancouver leading by 10. Outside, Jones. Harrell against Thompson. Harrell kicks the ball. Six to shoot. Thompson comes with the double team. And Harrell wide open. He shoots. And again, it's Vancouver missing. San Diego trails by 10. Beasley left side. Passes it to Nwaba. Thompson outside. And there's the pass to Beasley. From deep three-point range, Vancouver pulls it in. Harrell's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And the dunk by Parker. Oh, nice move by Jabari Parker off the bounce. Gets to the rack. Now San Diego with it. Easily outside. Guaba passes to Lyles. San Diego moving the ball around. And Thompson kicks to Sederansk. That one misses. So Vancouver will take it the other way. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Here's Beasley. He's off on that one. Nice D from Crawford. Jones dishes to Crawford. Pass to Parker over Beasley, and there's Vancouver with another bucket. Oh, great ball movement there. And here is San Diego now. It's a 16-point game. Beasley outside. Pass to Nwaba, and here is Zadaransky. Here's Thompson. Shot clock at six. Back to Zadaransky. From deep. Vancouver pulls it in. Harrell's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And it's in there. Parker's got 14 points here in the second half. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Here's Nwaba. Sadaramski with it. Isles passes to Beast. To stop the run. A shot by Sadaransky, no good. When you're not in rhythm with the free ball, why do you keep firing from there? Passes it to Harrell. It's hauled in by San Diego. It's Beasley on the wing. He's covered by ball. The Thompson's athleticism allows him to finish with power. Crawford outside. The pass to Jones. Loads it up there for Harrell. Doesn't go for him. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. Pass to Beasley. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Beasley's got four points in the quarter. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for Vancouver. They lead by 14. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jabari Parker. 
Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. He's had the fans behind him tonight, and that's really been a key for him. Once he got going, they sensed it could be a special night every time he touched the ball. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. The head coach of the Ravens had some instructions for his guys during the break. We talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making time good out, decisions out. with the ball. Guys? Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. And one thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Trails by 16. Easily outside. Pass to Sadoransky. Now, here's Lyons. Easily outside. Over Crawford. And violation. they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Here's Ball. Crawford outside. Passes to Jones. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Lyles. Lyles got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Nwaba kicks to Sederansk. Now back to Nwaba. Lock at six. Here's the pass to Sederansky. And a miss there on the triple. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Beasley against Crawford. And the shot goes down. Come on, Crawford's got 20 points. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. Now, here's Sadoransky. Thompson passes to Nwaba. They get the rebound. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Montrez Hero. Yeah, Thompson not really the guy who's going to punish you consistently for sending him to the free throw line. Take, Take a break. Shots. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And last season, we saw the NBA All-Star Game introduce the Elam ending, a target score, Greg, to end the game, and instead of running out the clock. Did you like that, and would you widen its use? No question it's being looked at it maybe for overtimes or, or tournament games. You know, Adam not shy about exploring new ideas. And I got to be honest, going into the All-Star game, I wasn't a fan of the proposed changes. Me too. But once you saw it all play out, I have to say I was entertained. And, and I applaud the commissioner and the players in the league for buying in. And I think the fan experience was made all the more better. Good point. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Ravens. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. 
And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Parker. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. Now here's Crawford. Here's Jones. Missed inside. Here's Musa. He's covered by ball. And that one, good. And you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Crawford against Evans. Takes the three. Crawford, no luck. So it's Vancouver picking up the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.